This is a video tutorial. My goal is to share with you on how you can connect to your network drive. So essentially, if you have an external drive and you connect it to your router, that is your network drive. More specifically, I have a Raspberry Pi uh, that's running Kodi. If for some reason you're unable to connect to your network drive which is attached onto your router, you can manually make a folder in your Raspberry Pi that shares the same space in your net network drive. Not even that. Even if you have a Raspberry Pi that's attached to a router headless, headless, you may want it to have access to your network drive. I so happen to have a second Raspberry Pi which is running Luge, which is a downloading program and I want it to download directly to my network drive. So let me show you how I did it. So the first thing you have to do is connect to your Raspberry Pi and I'm going to connect to it via PuTTY. And let me just clear this. Uh, so I'm in my Raspberry Pi now. And uh, the first thing you may want to do is make a folder, a folder um, such that it can access uh, your network drive. So let me show you where I made my folder. So I made my folder in, well, let me get onto this CD home, CD high. And the folder I made, SDA2, CDSDA, yes, this is the folder I made. So this here, SDA, was the folder I made. And to simply make a folder, all you have to do is input the command mk as in make and then dir and the name of the folder uh, that you want to uh, well to access the network drive for example I'm gonna make a folder called test so let's mk test if you look now there should be a test folder in here let's access this folder And you see there's nothing in here. So let's exit out of this folder now. And my folder is right there. So what you want to do is you want to go into a specific file and add a few lines. So in your Raspberry Pi, there should be a, a, a file called fstab and I'm going to access this file using nano and the line you want to edit the line you want to add is this so you want to add this right to the bottom so let's take a look at this let's take a look at this uh, this line here this line of code in a little bit more detail so if you see here these first uh, this first line that corresponds to the IP address of your router and um, if you're working from a, uh, from a home drive they all pretty much should be the same and I can confirm this uh, on my router if you take a look here this here or well, if you look up here this is the IP address of my router This here, this next line here, that is, um, that is basic. That is the, the folder, in which my, my uh, network drive or my uh, external drive is attached to. So if you look here, where is it? So this is my this is where I have my uh, my files. I download my files. 
So this is TP share here. This is on my network drive. So I'm sharing. So this is the if I want access TP share, I would have to uh, type in that specific folder SDA2. So in your on your Raspberry Pi on this in this file, sorry, in this file this here would be the address of your um, that would be the address of your router and over here would be the the folder in which um, in which all your file or where you want to down where all your um, files will be downloaded there is TP so basically TP share TP share is essentially this line and this folder is right after TP share it's right over here now this next line is basically on your Raspberry Pi uh, for me uh, for us we made a file uh, a folder called test but um, in this case on my Raspberry Pi I made a folder called SDA and everything everything else here it's pretty much standardized uh, in the sense that user, my username and my password on my Raspberry Pi is the same as just PyPy. Pi. Whatever your username is or whatever your password is, you would just enter here. And you would just copy everything else uh, as you see it here. So you would save and exit out of this uh, this file. And the next thing you want to do is to mount uh, that folder. And this, in my case, I'm going to be mounting SDA. So to mount that folder, the line that you need to use is this one here: sudo mount home pi my network drive. But instead of my network drive, you're going to be using your folder name. So let's copy that and go into here, and let's paste. Oh, that's odd. Sorry about that. My uh, command terminal um, crashed on me, so I had to reopen a new command ter terminal. But I wanted to show you that you would have to mount this line of code into your Raspberry Pi. And instead of this uh, network drive, my network drive, you want to uh, mount the folder uh, in which you, in which your uh, you want that you created earlier in your Raspberry Pi which is SDA. You press enter and then that's all, it's all done. And so let me show you. Let me just uh, go in here. So let me show you what's in my network drive. So I have a bunch of stuff in my network drive, all the stuff here, these movies. And uh, this is on my router. And if you look here, CD SDA, you can see that everything I that I'm literally accessing my, the um, the hard drive on my router, my network drive. Uh, as you can see from these files here, these files here match up with what I have on here, and that's about it. So if you're running a program like Luge, which is a, a torrent downloading box, um, you can download movies directly into your network drive as, um, as such. Uh, let me show you. So here, let me go into the Luge. So this is the luge. This is uh, I'm accessing it um, the luge, which is on my Raspberry Pi. I'm accessing it via the the Explorer, the browser. And if you look here in preferences, I'm downloading uh, I'm downloading to SDA. And SDA is essentially my uh, my uh, network drive 
So everything I download in Deluge goes directly to my network drive. And that's it, and that's how you do it.